Durability in Terraria is extremely important and is usually essential for any good build. The thing is though, in the wonderful world of Terraria, traversing your environment isn't always straightforward and will require you to use a range of movement techniques to get about. Today, we're going to be looking at one of the more niche movement options that focuses on making pace through lava and does this in absolute style. Of course, I'm talking about the Lava Shark. Now, I think regardless of how unnecessary this mount may be from a utility point of view, the concept of it is just amazing and is by far one of my most favourite mounts to use in the whole game. I mean, what is there not to like about this? Before we take a closer look however, if you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Alrighty, let's see how you get this beauty. Now, for many of you, this may actually be the first time hearing of the mount, as not only was it introduced recently, but is obtained in a very particular way. Yep, it requires us to fish in lava. As someone who doesn't fish a lot, this was something I'd actually never done, so let me give you a quick rundown of where you should start. Basically, to effectively fish in lava and have a high enough chance of obtaining this thing, we need to start from the bottom and work our way up, first requiring us to catch some underworld bait. For this you'll want to mine enough hellstone for 15 bars and craft yourself a lava proof bug net at a hellforge. With this in hand, you can catch the exclusive fiery critters found in your underworld, which includes the hell butterfly, lava fly and magma snail. The snails are by far the best so I'd focus on getting them. When you've got yourself enough, we essentially just need to get fishing. Now the interesting thing here is, if you're lucky, this could be a lot, as with the underworld bait you can fish up obsidian and hellstone crates which are exactly what we are looking for. However, as we're restricted to using quite weak bait, this will take a long time. You see, even with a full angler set and all three fishing potions consumed, bites will be very infrequent due to the lava significantly nerfing our fishing power. So what can we do to improve this? Well, when you do eventually manage to fish up your first few crates, you have about a 19% chance of obtaining the lava proof fishing hook accessory, which when equipped will make any rod with any bait work in lava. So now when I'm using my elite fishing setup, I was able to get crates non-stop, and in only about 5 minutes we're sitting on more than enough crates to get the item we're looking for, the superheated blood. Ok, with the mount in hand, let's take a closer look at what it does. The Lava Shark is quite a fun one, and operates in similar ways to my favourite mount, the Cute Fish Ron. The problem is that, while it can go hyperspeed when submerged in liquids, it's unusable on dry land, giving you about 10 miles per hour of horizontal movement. But I suppose this is where its next feature tried to compensate, allowing you to be fully submerged in lava without taking any damage. Also, its shark-like movement lets you maintain velocity when emerging from liquids, meaning if timed right, you can jump over light terrain to continue your journey into the next pool. And while this looks awesome and it's incredibly fun to do, I still don't think it's very practical, as for this to really help during a wall of flesh fight for instance, you'll need to flood your entire underworld with lava, as the shark just doesn't have the jump height to reliably do this with standard generation. But maybe I'm being a little unfair, because after all, this is a pre-hard mode mount that can reach speeds of 73 miles per hour in liquids. Just look at it compared to other speedy mounts obtained much later in the game. While it may not be the best, it's really not that far off, and can still be more than a viable mount to use during the Duke Fish Run fight for example, and actually might be your best bet, especially if you're looking at taking him down pre-mech. I guess as well, there are plenty of bosses you can just fight underwater, and use its insane movement speed to your advantage there. The Lava Shark is an interesting one. While it might be a bit annoying to obtain and is easily forgettable, it's an absolute blast to play around with. What are your thoughts on the Lava Shark? Have you used it before? And if not, why not give it a try? This has been Socrates and I'll see you in the next one.